Upon completing this in-service, you will number one, know what a food-drug interaction is, number two, know common foods and drugs that do not work well together, and number three, know how to help avoid food-drug interaction. A food-drug interaction is a situation when active chemicals in a drug reacts to a nutrient or food item and causes the drug to be less effective than expected, more effective than expected, or may cause an effect in the body that is not what either the food or the drug would do by themselves, but together produce an effect that could be extremely harmful to the person. Food is either restricted or provided at a time before or after the medication has been given to prevent any food-drug interactions. Foods and drugs that do not work well together. Grapefruit or grapefruit juice with statins. Statins are broken down by enzymes in the liver. Grapefruit or grapefruit juice can block the action of these enzymes, which would cause more of the statin to enter the body than intended. Statins are cholesterol-lowering medications that often end in statin. Example, atorvastatin, known as Lipitor, lovastatin, known as Mevacor, or simvastatin, known as Zocor. Potential side effects with grapefruit or grapefruit juice and statins would be muscle breakdown, liver damage, digestive problems, increased blood sugar, or neurological side effects. Grapefruit or grapefruit juice is typically not offered or given to anyone who's on a statin. Vitamin K foods with Coumadin. Coumadin is a drug that helps thin the blood, which helps in preventing heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots. Vitamin K is a vitamin that helps the blood to naturally clot, which is needed especially after a cut or surgery. Coumadin and vitamin K foods together seem to conflict in what they are to do. Coumadin tries to prevent blood clots and vitamin K helps the blood to clot. But remember, vitamin K does not need to be eliminated from the diet. Instead, a consistent amount of vitamin K foods can be consumed daily, which allows both the vitamin K and the Coumadin to do what they are intended to do. The vitamin K sources in the food would be dark green leafy vegetables like kale, collard greens, and then other vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, or cauliflower. Calcium and or tube feeding formulas with Dilantin. Dilantin is a drug used to control seizures. Calcium rich foods and supplements and tube feeding formulas can decrease the absorption of the Dilantin, meaning there wouldn't be as much drug in the body to prevent seizures. Calcium rich foods, supplements, and or tube feedings should not be given for one hour before the Dilantin is given and one hour after the Dilantin is given to prevent a food and drug interaction. Calcium rich foods and supplements include milk, cheese, yogurt, dark green leafy vegetables such as spinach, kale, turnip or collard greens, fortified foods such as cereal, juice, bread, soy milk, toms or similar antacids, calcium specific mineral supplement, or liquid nutritional supplements provided orally or as a tube feeding. Licorice with Lenoxin. Lenoxin is a drug used to treat heart failure and irregular heartbeat disorders. Black licorice can cause irregular heartbeats. Lenoxin and black licorice together seem to conflict in what they do. Lenoxin treats irregular heartbeats and black licorice can cause irregular heartbeats. Licorice may be found in licorice candy, licorice flavored or sweetened tea. Glycerazine is the ingredient to look for on labels. It is the sweetening compound found in licorice and used in products for flavor and sweetening. Licorice is typically not given or offered to anyone who is on lenoxin. To avoid food and drug interactions, communication is key. Establish a system where dietary is aware of what foods to avoid, include information on diet ticket or similar. Care plan the need to avoid certain foods related to potential food-drug interactions. Education is key. The resident or representative should be educated on the potential food-drug interaction. Discuss snacks and snack options, including items from snack machines. Discuss food preferences and alternates for avoided foods that are on the menu. Staff should be educated on the potential food-drug interaction. Meal service accuracy. Check meals for meal accuracy before providing to the resident. 
Read food labels as needed to see if they contain a food a person should not have. Provide food alternates as needed using foods a person likes. Let's test your knowledge on food-drug interactions. Question number one. Common foods and drugs that do not work well together include A. Vitamin K foods with Coumadin B. Grapefruit or grapefruit juice with statins C. Calcium with Dilantin or D. All of the above And the answer to question number one. Common foods and drugs that do not work well together include, and that would be D, all of the above. Question number two. Food-drug interactions may be avoided by A, communicating that a resident needs to avoid certain foods because of the medication they are taking, B. Educating the resident or representative and staff members on potential food-drug interactions. C. Checking food labels and watching the meal service to make sure a resident isn't served a food that should be avoided. Or D. All of the above. And the answer to question number two. Food-drug interactions may be avoided by D. All of the above. Question number three, licorice, which should not be given to someone on Lenoxin, can be found in A, licorice candy, B, licorice flavored or sweetened tea, C, any product that contains glycerazine, or D, all of the above. And the answer to question number three, licorice, which should not be given to someone on Lenoxin, can be found in D, all of the above. Question number four, true or false? A food-drug interaction can be a situation when active chemicals in a drug reacts to a nutrient or food item and causes the drug to be less effective than expected. And the answer to question number four is true. Question number five, true or false? Don't worry about giving a resident a food that may cause a food drug interaction since the resident may not eat that food anyway. And the answer to question number five is false. Thank you for your participation in today's program. Our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information about our in-service training programs, or consulting dietitian services, please contact us at 1-800-761-9200 or nutritioncaresystems.com.